Okay. So I've gotten in trouble with employers and loved ones for stuff I've said on YouTube. So I'm finally coming to accept that, yes, I can blab and say anything on YouTube and record it, but I shouldn't. And things thought in your mind or said once to yourself or to someone trusted are very different from something said on a camera to be recorded and then possibly seen um, forever into the future. So then, okay, but I found it so healing to just blab in front of the camera. So how can I continue this just blabbing? Well, for me saying, oh, well, I can just talk to myself sounds weird. Yes, I've heard um, from Harry Gamboa Jr. that people, like he sent me an article that said people who talk to themselves are like geniuses or smarter or whatever. But I've also heard stuff like talking to yourself is one of the signs of insanity, blah, blah, blah. And certainly I've witnessed some people who seem insane as they talk to themselves along as they usually walk along the street. So um, I prefer talking to my angels. This is a concept I've come across. I don't know how, but you know how I love rolling angel numbers maybe. And so it's really similar. And so I just say angels. And you know, part of the angel numbers messages I feel from Joy on Sacred Scribes is that your angels are there for support and listening. You can always talk to them if you want to. So. And even if you witness like a thought process in your, in your consciousness somehow, it can still be subconscious and still part of your conscious experience. And there really is, you know, um, God spoke Hebrew to create the world. There really is something magical about speaking um, that creates the world and makes things conscious, I believe. Um, so then with the talking to the angels, it's literally like literally in the shower just now, I was like, angels, I want this, I want that. And I just like, da, 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 da. And then like five minutes later, I realized, oh, I was still talking and it was still to the angels. It was still from that thought process. And, and then I gave thanks to the angels for listening because, and expressed just how healing it felt. And, you know, rather than stagnation and just letting it all bundle inside me, it feels like moving forward with my voice and to hear the, um, and express the, um, you know, thought pattern line of thinking with my voice and my voice. So that's a way that I can talk about those things that, I don't want to just record on my computer because it might take up space. I don't just want to just record on YouTube because it might be not appropriate to be recorded or heard by other people on YouTube. I can just talk to my angels, um, more or less wherever I am, obviously at a quieter volume if there's lots of people around. <laughs> um, so as not to disturb them. Um, yeah, yes, that's about it. I want to take the Enneagram test. Um, it doesn't, it seems like everyone's busy or doesn't want to hang everyone. I feel like two or three people uh, have a history of interaction with this semester besides my girlfriend, of course. Um, don't want to hang out with me, so I'll easily hang out with my girlfriend later today, which I've been, I've been feeling, oh. um, I have roommates. Um, so yeah, I look forward to that. Um, see you soon and later. Bye-bye. Oh, I got a text message. <laughs>